Hey Church, welcome back to Devotions. Great to have you with us on January the 3rd. We've been talking about the life of Joseph. We're talking about dreaming again. We've talked about being faithful in small things and being faithful to others and really being faithful to the dream that God has placed in our hearts. God has got a dream for you. There's a there's a, a, a plan and purpose that God wants to outwork in your life and through your life. And we see that being portrayed in and through the life of Joseph. And you know, as we've been speaking about faithfulness in the midst of dreaming, I want to talk to you for a moment about the faithfulness of God when it comes to our dreams. Certainly, when you look at the life of Joseph, you begin to realize that God was faithful, that through the ups and the downs and the ins and the outs, through the midst of the challenges, God was faithful. Now, of course, Joseph made a choice to be faithful in small things, and he chose to be um, uh, made a choice to be faithful to others. But in the midst of it all, God was faithful, and God brought about the dreams that He had for Joseph. He He brought them about, and I just want you to be confident today in in God that God is faithful. That if God says it, He can do it. That the interruptions that have come along your way, the problems that have stepped before your path, you need to know that God saw the problems before you knew his promises for your life. God is a faithful God. I want to read to you a slightly obscure passage from Ezekiel chapter 17 for a moment. It says this, The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, set forth an allegory and tell the house of Israel a parable. Say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says. A great eagle with powerful wings, long feathers and full plumage of varied colors came to Lebanon. Taking hold of the top of a cedar, he broke off its topmost shoot and carried it away to a land of merchants where it was planted in a city of traders. Now there is a whole lot going on in this passage. But I, I want you to lean into the picture for a moment of the eagle and especially that image there where it's breaking off the top shoot of a branch of, of, a, of a tree. Eagles are majestic birds. There's nothing quite like seeing a bird of prey or especially an eagle soaring, catching, catching the airstream and, and just soaring. You know, one of the things about an eagle is this, is that an eagle is destined to fly. It's within its DNA. It's, 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 it's got a deep down desire to, to fly. It's, it's the natural instinct within it. However, the chicks, the eagle's chicks, love the comfort of the nest. They tell us this, that for the, the, the little eaglets that are in the nest. It's, it's a soft nest. It's, it's home. It's cozy. They, they sleep. They, they cry. Mum feeds them. But as the chicks begin to grow and it begins to come, comes time for the, the chicks to, to need to learn to fly, what the mother eagle will do is slowly begin to take out some of the soft areas the soft areas of the, the nest. So it becomes more and more uncomfortable for the chick to stay in the nest. Why? It's because the eagle's destiny is not for it to stay in the nest, but for it to soar. And the story goes like this, that when a female eagle is looking for a male eagle to mate with, the female eagle will take a twig will take uh, part of a branch and will take it to a great height and drop it. And what the female eagle will do, and this is fascinating, is she is looking for the male eagle who will catch the twig. Strange, right? Look it up. Google it. It's all there. She will take the stick, she will drop it, and wait for a male eagle to catch the, the stick. Now, she won't just do that once. She'll do it many times until she sees one male eagle 
who is faithful and every time can catch the twig. Now, why is this important? It's because the female eagle is looking for a male who is faithful. Why? I tell you why. It's because when it comes time for the baby eagles to learn how to fly, the mother will take the baby eagle from the nest, take it to a great height and drop it and let the little baby learn to fly. Now, of course, we know this, that the baby eagles can't fly straight away. They have to learn. But before those little baby eagles plummet to their death, guess what? Dad comes along. And as this eagle is falling, falling, learning to fly, but falling potentially to its death, dad swoops in, grabs the baby eagle, takes the eagle back up to the nest, places it back in the nest again, ready for the moment when mum will come and say, good try, we're going again. And we take the baby eagle to a big height, drop it, dad would catch until the baby eagle no longer needed dad to catch because it had learnt to fly. Now I tell you that story to say this, that in all of your life, God has been faithful in catching twigs. I use it in the terminology of the little things, the unseen things, the things that you've not noticed. You haven't realised that God's been there. You haven't realised that God has been faithful. But all your life, he has been faithful in catching twigs. And the reason that you're alive in 2024 is because God's faithfulness is shining through. God has been brilliant. God has been trustworthy. And in the same way, he's been catching twigs, the unseen things, the things you don't know about. I want to say this about your dream. He is faithful to the dreams that he has placed in your heart. The dream that one day your dream will fly. He's catching twigs so one day you can fly. And I want you to know this. You can have the confidence in God's character that he won't let you drop. He won't let you go by. He won't let you crash to the ground. God is faithful. He's faithful today. He's faithful. He always has been and he always will be. You can trust in God. God is faithful. Have a blessed day, church. Much love. See you tomorrow.